When I was growing up, I was aspiring to be a special education teacher. I had a little girl in my life. She was like my little sister. She had a mitochondrial disease and she always needed an advocate. And I wanted to be that advocate. And so I thought if I was a special education teacher and a lobbyist, I could advocate for her and other kids like her so they got the attention that they needed. That's how I kind of got the government bug <laughs> and decided to you know, go into government and see how I could advocate for others. And right now we're doing that in the Secretary of State's office every day. How do I leverage my passion and skills for the community? I would say my drive. Seeing a problem and not walking away from it. In my community, I see that there's a need and I wanna go solve the problem and fix it. Government and politics is all about network. And if I can leverage my network to help the greater good of the community, then by all means, I'm giving you a phone call. My grandmother passed away. <laughs> My grandmother passed away about a year ago, and uh, the legacy of her kids in the community is something that she was proud of. And to see that example of the doctor, the principal, the superintendent that were her kids, that people go to for help now, if I can do that for my kids, that they are those better people than what I ever was, what's my legacy? My kids. Thank you.